Okay. So, let me see where we are. We were making, yes, 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 yes. We were making this RS latch. And we need to hook it up. So, power in. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So, let's let's think about this a little bit okay what actually it'd be better if we come up here we need to define um, our reset in our power in and our power out we need to sort of tell ourselves when our re when what what's gonna reset the the latch what's gonna um, power the latch and what's gonna what, what what's gonna where the power is gonna go for the latch and easiest, I mean, come on, I mean, the, the easiest, well, the reason why we built this entire latch is this torch right here. So that's clearly going to be the power out. That's simple. But we need to sort of tell ourselves, well, then what's going to be the power in? Um, what's going to make this track change from this loop on to go and get another cart? Well, as a user, when when do we want this track to change? Well, we don't want another cart to be brought around while we're still in the cart. So we don't want this to immediately change uh, once once we've boosted and gone through a loop because as, as we said before, what happens if we're, we're stopped like right here? Well, we don't want another cart behind us because when this, this, uh, this booster comes around in the loop again, it's gonna boost that cart and push it into you and then you're just gonna have a bunch of problems and it's gonna clog your system you don't want that so what you want is you you want you you don't want another cart to come by until you've actually left the station right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if you left the station and we're gonna do that by using that quirk once again and we actually are gonna use a wooden pressure plate just in case um, we decide that we, we want to boost a cart or a cart gets boosted that's, uh, that's, um, that doesn't have a passenger in it. And later on in a, in a different series, um, I'm going to show, show you guys how to build a, a cart detection system. So what happens if uh, I'm here, I get in a cart, and I'm like, oops, I still gotta, I gotta come back, I forgot something. So I get out of the cart, what happens to the cart? Well, in this system, it would just get boosted along onto the main track like normal, and uh, we're not gonna worry about that right now, but it, later on, I'm gonna show you how you can um, just check for a passenger, and if there isn't a passenger inside of it, then send the cart into the cartridge, so that the cart never actually leaves the station and doesn't clog up your line. So uh, I don't want to build that into this station because we really don't have the room to do it, and you know I, I'm, I'm getting kind of tired. I want to want to wrap up this this series, so we're we're just gonna do this. Um, so before we lay that down, let's go ahead and and do that little quirk again. Thanks to the 8-bit engineer, you can Google him or Minecraft forum him or whatever you you silly people do. Uh, let's break this place that there and place it like that and then we can put a wooden pressure plate here okay so now we know what our power in is gonna be but when do we want to reset this back to normal well we never want to grab more than one cart from the cartridge right we never want more than one cart to be thrown onto the line so this uh, once once the main booster comes onto this line and comes back here, we only want it to go once. That's why we have this reset plate here. We only ever want it to be on this line once. So we want this to change back to what it was ideally this the second after it gets onto this line right but I mean we can't do that I mean, we could but there's no point because we have a reset plate right here so why don't we just use this reset plate as our reset for this turn right here 
and that way we reuse this, the reset plate. So we save a little bit of a uh, little bit of juice, and we we don't have to we don't have to really worry about anything because the line's already down there. It'll be really easy to wire in. So it 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 just saves us space, time, you know, and there's no reason not to do it. So I'm gonna put um. Here's what we're gonna need to do because that's gonna need to go to there. And we're actually going to need a little bit of working room down here. Um, okay. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. Um, let's, let's, again, make a little bit of room. We need to transmit downwards, but remember this is a button, uh, a pressure plate. So we need to um, we need to we, we can't do the straight upward torches because uh, we, we can do it here we can do it for this torch but we don't want to do it for this button here so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna do the this thing that we were doing before I forgot what I called it, it it's just another method of vertical transmission okay why why did that happen I'm not entirely sure. Frankly, I'm I'm scared to hell. Uh, okay, that that was that was a oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. We're alive. We're alive. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> okay, man. All right. That was that is the luckiest possible situation to have happened for that scenario. <laughs> okay, okay, do I have beef on me? Yes, I have a little bit of beef. Survive like one arrow. Let's check for creepers because I'm probably gonna get ganked. Okay. Well they were just waiting there, weren't they? They were just so happy to see me. All right, a little bit of health, a little bit of health. Okay, back to station building. Can't let things like that bring you down, man. You just, you just can't let things like that bring you down. Bitches ain't shit. All right. Is that what we want? Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. So, frankly, this is a little bit disturbing that there's a cave of undead things there. Um, let's let's just go ahead and yeah. Okay. There's a skeleton right there. Alright. Well not sure where that arrow came from, but for the sake of of YouTube and preservation character perfect let's just keep on going and hopefully the skeleton won't kill me okay so let's figure out where our power in is uh, right there so what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna build it okay so this is where we put our redstone. So we got a torch here. And like I said, we never, ever want anything coming from up top to always be powered. We always want it to be off by default. So we need to add another redstone torch. All right, there we go. So power out is going to be, uh, what are we at? 10 minutes about? Okay. Um, I'll finish this up in the next episode. Sorry for the interruption from the undead. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll rig up the rest of this in the next episode. Alright, I'll see you guys later.